my name is Gunnery Sergeant Ken Ebo. I'm currently the Music Placement Director for the Marine Music Program in the Southwest. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my musical history and how I became uh, a Marine musician. Uh, when I was in high school, it became evident and clear to me that music was a possible career option. And uh, I had a very supportive family and I took private lessons outside of my band experience and I was practicing and working and headed toward that and, and made the decision that I wanted to study music as a profession, as a career. And it wasn't until I was later on in my, my life, I was 27 years old when I made the decision to join the United States Marine Corps as a professional musician. You know, being an American and being wanting to give back to the country that provided so much to me was, it sounds, uh, it sounds kind of trite, but that actually was a, a very real feeling for me. One that I really wanted to um, bring to fruition somehow. And so the military service was a, a, a viable option, I felt like. And so when these things came together and I weighed all of the options and I weighed the options that I had to where can I find both the opportunity to serve and to do this and where can I find the opportunity to take my music career somewhere that will be artistically satisfying and where can I also, let's be serious, where can I find the opportunity to use m my music career to provide for myself and down the road for my family. And that's how I came to take an audition, win that audition, and get offered a position, a vacancy with the United States Marine Music Program. You know, professional musicians have really varied experiences because music is such a, a wide open field, a wide open art, it can take you so many different places. I certainly have seen places and been to places uh, geographically that I never would have gone otherwise. But it's also taken me places artistically that I might not have ever been as well. My first duty station in the Marine Corps was in Hawaii. And working as a musician in Hawaii is something that people don't, don't really think of that it's even possible because they think of it's, first of all, it's so far away, the cost of living, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, the Marine Corps afforded me that opportunity to be in Hawaii and to work as a, a a marine musician, a professional military musician in that context and it was an experience unlike any other. Not only that, but on my liberty time you're able to go and, and explore the location where you are, you know, where your duty station is. So in my case, being Hawaii, so you're able to afford to go out and explore all the different things that the islands had to offer. But not only just as far as from a, a tourist standpoint, but also as a musician. So I was able to work with many local musicians and get to know that community very well and learn lessons and, and had experiences that just I could not have replicated really had it not been for my uh, experience as a marine musician. Now some of the places that, that has taken me artistically as far as being a military musician, you know, some people think, well military music, those, that's kind of, those are, that's kind of a diametrically opposed idea there because music and art is something we think of as being free and independent thinking and that type of thing. You know, an artist is always asking questions, but we think, tend to think of people in the military as always listening to and taking and obeying orders, right? And you, you begin to wonder, how can these two uh, ideas uh, exist together? They're really opposed to one another. And in some ways, they are opposed to one another. But one of the great things about being a Marine musician is the fact that one of our, our mottos in the Marine Corps is adapt and overcome. And you know, the Marines are always looking for people who can thrive in adverse situations and who, who don't uh, shy away from, from difficulties. And those same characteristics apply to a lot of musicians as well because you don't become a musician overnight. It takes hard work, it takes discipline, it takes dedication, it takes determination, it takes time in the practice room away from everybody else. You sacrifice your social life, you sacrifice a lot of other things to spend time alone with your instrument and to become professionally proficient there. And so that idea of discipline and sacrifice and hard work as a musician goes hand in hand with the very same ideals as sacrifice and discipline and hard work that every United States Marine embodies. And so in that sense, being a, a military musician, a Marine musician in particular, I feel that they go, they go hand in hand in many ways and they can complement each other. I want to talk to you a little bit about the process of becoming 
a marine musician and what, what that means. And then I want to tell you a little bit about how we can prepare for that. There are two things in which you must qualify to become a marine musician. One, you have to qualify musically through an audition process, which I'll explain in a moment. But two, you have to be qualified to serve in the United States Marine Corps. You have to be qualified for military service. And that involves sitting down with uh, a local recruiter who will screen you and who will let you know the criteria that goes into are you uh, able to serve in the United States Marine Corps. So while that process is ongoing, you also have to have a musical qualification process. Now this is what sets military music apart from most other jobs in the Marine Corps. A recruiter will guide you into those jobs that they feel are best suited for your capabilities. And they're very, they're very good at doing this, at showing you the opportunities in those jobs and guiding you into those opportunities. To become a Marine musician, you have to do an audition first before you can actually be guaranteed that job. So you have to prove that you are qualified as a musician and then is when you can be guaranteed one of those vacancies that come open every year as a Marine musician. So a little bit about our audition process. Like any other professional performing audition, we have, uh, we have a screening process that goes on. So for, to become a Marine musician, we have a set of audition excerpts, required excerpts that you were prepared beforehand. If you're qualified to take an audition, all of our auditions are by invitation. So to get qualified to do an audition, you have to submit materials. The materials entail a little fact sheet that we have that will be provided to you that gives us basically a little bit about your, your background and your willingness to become, and why you want to become a Marine. And then we have, we ask for your resume, and that tells us your musical experience, your musical history, and, and, and it gives us a little snapshot of your, where you've been artistically. So once you've gone through the first round and you're actually invited to audition for the Marine Music Program, then the process looks something like this. The same excerpts that you recorded and submitted to be screened and to be evaluated and to be invited for an audition, those are the excerpts that you're going to perform in an in-person audition. And you will prepare those and, and bring them to the audition and we will ask some of those excerpts at random. We may ask them all, we may ask a few of them, we may, may ask portions of them. And once you perform that part of the audition, the second part of the audition is all sight reading. So you're going to be given sight reading and you'll have a few seconds to look it over and you'll be given a tempo and then you're going to perform it. And that's what our audition consists of. Now for certain instruments like trombone, for trumpet, for saxophone, for all the rhythm instruments, and by that I mean the piano, the bass, the drums, the guitar, you're going to be asked to do some commercial music commercial and jazz music. What that means is not only the concert repertoire you'll be asked for, but there's some uh, selections and some excerpts from the jazz, uh, jazz standards and, and um, commercial music that you'll have to be, uh, that you'll have to show some proficiency on. Why do we do that? Because in the Marine, in the Marine Music Program, not only do we have wind ensemble and ceremonial music, but we also have a lot of ensembles that focus on commercial music. So we have uh, a rock band, we have, uh, we have a jazz ensemble, we have a jazz combo, we have brass band, and even in some of our small, small groups like brass quintet, woodwind quintet, we may not all do standard concert repertoire. We might do some commercial pieces as part of a program in those. So you have to show some ability in those genres if you have, if, particularly if you play those instruments I mentioned. I'm often asked the question, what's it like, the day-to-day -day experience as a marine musician? You know, sometimes we talk about uh, the, the, the bigger experience and a lot of those intangible things about being an artist and being a marine and, and what that really means and all the values and, and, and things that go along with that. Uh, but, but now that people know that actually you can serve as United States Marine as a musician and that's your full-time job, well then the question comes up, well what does that mean? I mean, what are you doing all day long? Well, that's a great question, and, and really it boils down to, uh, as a musician, the same type of things that other professional musicians do, we do those very same things. So we practice, <laughs> uh, we listen, and we rehearse, and we perform. 
Being a Marine, of course, you're not just a musician and you're not just a Marine, you're a Marine musician. So being a Marine entails uh, keeping yourself in, in, a, in a good state of physical readiness, physical training, uh, a couple times a week, first thing in the morning. Maybe we'll, we'll do a run together, or maybe we'll go to the gym, or maybe we'll do a spin class, or maybe we'll go to, uh, go to the pool, or maybe we'll play volleyball, or ultimate frisbee, or something to, to get ourselves going and to keep, remind ourselves that as United States Marine, uh, we want to stay healthy. And then you have a break to go get changed over and get cleaned up, have some breakfast, whatever. Then you'll come back to the band hall and maybe you'll have a rehearsal for one of your ensembles. Maybe it'll be a wind ensemble, maybe it'll be a ceremonial band, maybe it'll be uh, the small ensembles. So we do these things throughout the day and we also during the day we set aside time for people to to do individual practice. So you're not an ensemble, you're not doing uh, some of these other activities, you're not rehearsed, you go off to the practice room and you have time to take care of what you're working on, to take care of your own music. We try to do that during the workday if we can. The last thing that is that you're gonna find that's in the uh, Marines day is a gig. We're gonna be working somewhere. So that means that other daily routine is gonna get interrupted and maybe we're only gonna get together in the morning, have a short rehearsal, and then that afternoon we're going off and we're doing a concert in the park somewhere, or we're doing a uh, concert at the local theater, or we're doing something else. But from a day-to-day -day experience, you're a working musician, rehearsing, practicing, and gigging.